All right, so welcome. We're going to do our molarity by dilution. Let me just check to see what page this is in your notes. Okay, so this is the formula that uh, we do not have in your reference table. Uh, but let me just check to see what page this is in our, in our notes. This is page number 55 in your notes. Okay, so this is page number 55 in your notes. So here's the formula, M1, V1, M2, V2. So basically you're given three out of the four variables and you solve, you solve for your unknown. All right, so and then normally the, the two variables are really typed together um, in the way that the sentence is structured. And the question statement is always the unknown that we're looking for. So um, let me just, I don't like the way that circle looks. Okay, so how much concentrated 18 molar sulfuric acid. So how much means that I'm basically looking for a volume, right, is needed to, and this is my molarity, and since it's let's call it molarity one, is needed to prepare 250 milliliters, so this is the volume that I want to go towards, of a six molar solution. So then this would be my molarity two. So when I do my M1V1 is equal to M2V2. Okay, so my molarity one, right, which is my 18 molar sulfuric acid. So 18 molar, how much of that, that's the volume, that's what I'm looking for, is needed to prepare, I need to prepare a six molar solution, 250 milliliters. Okay, so then when I do the math, which I did not do ahead of time. Hold on, let me get my answer key. So I'm just going to grab my book so I can get the answer right away for you. Sorry, kids, I should have been more prepared. Almost. Just give me a moment and find my right page here. So this is going to come out to be 83 milliliters. All right, so this is 83 milliliters. Let's talk significant figures here. So my, my number needs to be the same number of significant figures as the least number of significant figures in my data set here, right? Two significant figures, two significant figures, one, two significant figures. So this is why I have this as 83 milliliters. And then how do I know it was milliliters, right? Because it's going to be the same as that. All right, let's look at our next one. How much concentrated 12 more? So again, how much is my volume? And here I have a molarity. So how much, so here I, this is what I'm looking for, is needed to prepare 100 milliliters, so that's my volume two, of a two molar solution, my molarity two. So molarity one is 12 molar. Volume one, that's what I'm looking for. How much of that do I need? is equal to, right, and I'm preparing a two molar solution, so 2.0, and 100 milliliters. And then I'm just going to, that's just indicating the significant figure spot. And so when I do the math, right, so then I'm going to just get rid of this 12, right? Oops, I don't like how that looks here. Oops. So then divided by 12. And right, so when I do the math here, my molarity is going to be 17 milliliters. Two significant figures, right? Because I have two significant figures, two significant figures, two significant figures. Okay, so to what volume, okay, so to what volume should 25 milliliters of 15, so here I have a volume molarity, be diluted to prepare a three molar, right, there's my molarity two solution. To what volume, all right? So again, I'm looking for a volume, and in this case, I'm looking for volume number two, okay? So I have 15 milliliters of, oops, of 15 molar nitric acid, okay? So now I need to know what volume I want this to be Three molar. So what volume do we need to go this up to? Oh, sorry, that should be, <laughs> this should be a 25. Sorry. Okay, so then uh, when I solve for x, this comes out to be 125 milliliters. 
Now, if I'm keeping to significant figures, I have two significant figures, two significant figures, two significant figures. So I need to get this to two significant figures. And so since this is a five, I would round that two to a three. And then I can't round 125 to 13. I still have to be in the same ballpark. Then I have 130 milliliters. And again, only round to significant figures if you're asked to, but so um, some of you are in honors and some of you are in regents. So I wanna make sure that I'm covering both. Okay, so for number four, how much water should 50 milliliters of 12 molar hydrochloric acid be added to produce a four molar solution? Okay. So to how much water should 50 milliliters be added? Okay, so I don't know what, the, I need to get the final volume and then I can get to the 50 milliliters. So I have my volume one and my mol molarity one, and now here's my molarity two. So I have 12 molar hydrochloric acid and I have 50 milliliters of that. And I need to know how much water to add. So I need to know what my final volume is gonna be, right? Because my final solution concentration is four. So what is my final volume gonna be? So I just wanna make a note here. This is my final volume. So if you remember from your notes, right? When we make a dilution, right? So if I'm making this dilution, I'm going to put the, the 50 milliliters in a volumetric or graduated cylinder and I'm gonna add up to the final volume. I'm not gonna add whatever X is, because remember, this occupies space. So when I solve for X, this comes out to be 100 milliliters. This is my final volume. So I'm gonna add my 50 milliliters and I'm gonna add up to the, oops, I'm sorry, um, erase that, hold on. Sorry, got ahead of myself. X is gonna be 150, sorry, 150 milliliters. Right, this is my final volume. I was looking at the answer key and I had 100 in my head. So actually the, hand, the answer is 100, 100 milliliters. How do I know it's 100 milliliters? If my final volume is 150, I add 50 milliliters of my concentrated acid and I need to dilute it to 150 this 50 milliliters still occupies that 50 milliliters of space. And I have to add up to 150. So that means I need to add 100 milliliters more, right, up. So then the difference between these two, 150 minus 100, oh, sorry, minus 50. I keep having 100 in my, in my head and it just doesn't want to stick, it doesn't want to get out of my head right now. Okay, 100 milliliters. All right, so last one. To how much water should 100 milliliters of 18 molar sulfuric acid be added to prepare a 1.5 milliliter solution? All right, so here I have volume, molarity, and I have my molarity too. Okay, so I have 18 molar sulfuric acid, and I have 100 milliliters. All right, and I want to prepare a 1.5 molar solution. And I need to know what that final volume is because I need to add, figure out how much water do we need to do. So when I solve for X, right? So I have, let me just do that on my calculator really quickly. So I have 18 times 100. And I'm gonna divide by 1.5. So then that is going to be 1,200 milliliters. Okay, so that is my final volume. So now I have the total volume of solution to how much water. So there's already like 100 milliliters in there to prepare a 1.5. So I need to get up to the 100 milliliters, sorry, 100 milliliters marked, right? So I need 100 milliliters is already there. So then I take away that 100 milliliters. And then that's going to be 1,100 
milliliters, or we could say that's also 1.1 liters, right? Because I already had that in, so I had to dilute it up to. All right, so hopefully these questions made some sense to you. If not, um, ask your teacher, ask myself, Mrs. Mitiga, try them again on your own to see, making sure you get the right answer. It's all about figuring out what to identify in the question um, as molarity, one volume one, and they're usually stuck together, right? You see how we have these right, are stuck together in a question. All right, so thank you for joining me until our next into our next video. Thank you for joining me for this walkthrough of molarity calculations.